fits together with Princess Ariel and Luke are walking in the alley when Rudus and Persina appear. Noticing their attachment, Fitz thinks that Rudus like her, thus, he feels depressed and bumps. In their student council office, Princess Ariel notes how Fitz turns every time Rudus passed. Fitz admits that he does not tell him yet which shocks the two. Luke asks Princess Ariel what should they do. She calls Sylphie in her name and advised her that he can use the name Fitz in whichever way she sees fit. Rudus is in the library studying teleportation techniques. The deeper he studied, the more summoning and teleportation became similar. Yet, there are still differences such as the summoning of is cannot be done with people. He approaches Fitz to ask someone expert on summoning. Fitz told him that he knew one whom he might already know the name. He heard Silent Seven Star was the one that improved the dining menus, invented the uniform, and Blackboard which are all from his world. On the other hand, Silent Seven Star is humming peacefully. He decided to see her. Upon walking up the stairs, he knocks on a door and hears the voice to come in. He was shocked at the sight. After realizing who she is, he remembers how he was killed and ran with much panic. In his memory, he recalls how he was stabbed with Orsted. Silent Seven Star tells how impolite to run after seeing someone, and then Rudus collapses. He gained consciousness and saw Fitz. He told Fitz that he had a nightmare where a white mask woman killed him. He then saw the woman he was talking about. Silent Seven Star asks what he is afraid of. She saved him last time but he might already forget because he was dead at that time. Rudus fearfully asks where Orsted but Silent Seven Star says it will take a while before he comes for him and that he might kill him depending on his action. Fitz asks her how he knows Rudus and why he is so afraid of her. She answered that he may remember what Orsted had done to him. She asks him three questions. One is if he recognizes the name written on the piece of paper. The second is if he knows her language. And last is who he is among the two names written. Rudius told her that he is neither the two. That shocks Fitz to hear his foreign language. Silent Seven Star removes her mask and introduces herself as Nanahoshi Shizuka from Japan. He remembers her face as the same as the girl who is about to be hit by the truck. She asks him his name. And Rudus replies with Rudus Grayerit. She knows that it is his alias in that world and she cannot blame him after what happened. She promises that she is on his side and encourages him to work together in order to get to their world. Rudus explains that he does not want to go back. After a while, Fitz requested the two to speak in a language he could understand. Nanahashi puts on her mask and explains that she does not have an interest in their new world. Rudius told her that he was born as a baby and has family and friends in this world. She asked how he ended up there and he answered that it was a traffic incident. While Nanahashi is narrating to Rudius how she ended up in Orsted protection, Fitz stands up and sees the foreign writings. She asked Orsted to spare his life because he seemed different. Rudeus asks why Ochersted and Hitagami are enemies, but Nanahashi does not know. Nanahashi told him that she traveled around the world for a year using a teleportation circle. Someone she met told her that she must have been summoned by someone in that world. She added that they are irregularities of that world, and changing its course of history might cause them to be deleted from that world. Nanahashi is using the academy library for her research but ends up with nothing. Everything has mana, even the carcass of animals, but she has nothing. She also finds out that she is not aging but Rudus is otherwise. After sitting, she proposes a partnership with him given that they have one objective, to understand the teleportation technique. Rudus has mana that she needs while she has information that Rudus wants. Rudus agrees and Nanahoshi reminds him that there is no backing down after. She mentions that he is researching mass teleportation and Rudus asks how she knows. They remember Fitz's presence and Rudus asks to talk in the local language. She's wearing rings while saying that the teleportation might be caused by her. Fitz is mad and throws her magic but repels by her. She hysterically throws a fit while Nanahashi asks for help. Rudus holds Fitz and says that Nanahashi is also a victim. Fitz calmed down and Nanahashi apologized for phrasing it that way. Fitz also apologized for attacking her. Nanahashi explains that even Orsted does not know what happened in mass teleportation. As Rudus and Nanahashi continue to talk, Fitz is cleaning her mess. 
Nanahashi told him that he could answer what triggered the teleportation if she succeeded in her research. In the afternoon, while walking home, Bits asks Reduce what he thinks of Nanahoshi. Reduce answers that he will trust her for now. Reduce then thanks Bits for worrying about him, but Bits denies before eventually agreeing. If you've enjoyed this so far, drop down below and show us some love by liking, subscribe and sharing. Next chapter will come out soon enough if not already. But for the meantime, check out our other videos on the screen. I highly recommend The Daily Life of the Immortal King. The link is in the comments section below. Thank you for watching until the end. Subscribe for more videos like this.